Hello and welcome to Dell's Gaming. I'm Dell and this is the prison we've got going in Prison Architect Alpha 33. And in this episode we've got to continue on some of the sections we were working on previously. Primarily getting this cell block up and running. So that people can get out of these holding cells into the cell block. Um, and also a big part to reducing our current big danger level is um, getting this canteen here running. That's also a priority. But uh, we've got as many we've got people working at it. We just need to get them uh, uh, as quickly as possible. Make sure there's nothing holding up um, getting the cells in. At the moment, it looks like water can be a problem, even for some of the cells which have all the requ requisites so I'm gonna check the water system uh, utilities first um, yeah it looks like it's the large pipe is not got put in in some places um, that would resolve a lot of the problems so hopefully they'll be working at that as quickly as possible the other area we're gonna work on is moving some of the road gates up one now luckily I think I can do that without letting lots of people out. You can see here it's just a little short. So we're going to start with the top one. Uh, move that up one as a start. Dismantle this one. Oops, dismantle object. Come on. There we go. And once this lorry has passed we're going to do it to the same to the bottom one. And we're moving both down one block. There we go. That's being removed as well. Now, what else did we have we were going to do? We need to, we, once we've got that other cell block, we will reorganise this cell block. The other bit we are going to do is some solitary confinement, which we'll put at the end of these holding cells, I think. Um, some solitary for those which are, uh, what should we say, um, do more crime than other people. Um, they'd be naughty boys, basically. So let's start with um, some concrete wall. I'm going to basically make, come on, no it's not going to let me, so okay let's start with, we want to basically remove that fence and let's go back a bit and we want to remove this fence, uh, I've done it on the wrong place, come on that should be right, demolish walls, that's better. Should be okay. Let's just make sure that's that is demolishing. No, that's not um, not demolishing at the moment properly. Got anything I have got wrong there? No. Okay. I think I, it may be working. We're not in, on any um, demolished walls. Okay. If I tell it to do a fence just there. That's done, All right. Demolish walls. Hmm, that's a bit strange. I was using the wrong button. I'm being a numpty. It's working now. Let's just let it uh, remove those. And then what we can do is put some items in among that. Okay, we have either these gates been demolished yet? Nope. Right, I need to make a marker actually where this um, gates have actually got to go. So we actually want them just there and just there. That will be where the gates are going to go to. Okay. Uh, it's okay running with just one gate at the moment. It's not going to break anything because the main area is still a, a cordoned zone. So that's fine. Um, right, let's see what else we have that we can be working on. So our guys, I'm going to speed it up a little bit so our guys can get working. So we've got tables and we, um, what I'm going to do, ready for this kitchen here, is I'm going to employ some more cooks. 
I'm thinking we're going to need about four, which is much more than we do need, but we're better to have too many than not enough. Well, they're getting to it, they're putting the walls up, um, and as we get the water supply sorted, well, that should work. Now, is there another quicker way to get this water supply sorted? I don't think moving this to here is going to work uh, any quicker than getting this big bit of pipe there sorted. Hopefully, oh, he's doing that big bit of pipe. That's perfect. See, that's already started the water system working. Although, looking at it, it does not reach that far. So we might need some way to link to this big bit of pipe here. Looks the, like a big pipe will not go that far. Okay. Um, option is run the big pipe all the way through the center, which might be just as easy, actually. So here we run some large pipe yeah, straight through there. And that's going to cover us for all of those areas going to left and, and right of that, those positions. Yes, it was a bit expensive. That will also can be continued if we buy an area above here in the future. Let's see how we're doing now. We do this still in their sleep schedule. So we do uh, increase the beautification of these once we've got up to the 50 inmates and they're happy. Mm. Well, happy is a is a relative term. They're not they're less unhappy, maybe a better terminology. So we're nearly there with our four cooks. They need to get a little bit of uh, work done on the uh, water supply so what are we missing here this is now only missing doors so now we can put some doors in here and there will be valid uh, cells now they need water so i'm not going to put those in yet they need walls and quite a few things so but we've got some more cells ready now once they're put in excellent right uh what else have we got three well, seven waiting for parole well we've got our parole room so why are they not going through the parole maybe there is something i'm missing on the whole parole room issue um it says we've got a parole room um yep that should be working Well, we've got some people coming in and visiting by the looks of it. Now we're going to use this centre section here for extra buildings. There's things such as um, security, armoury and items such as that. They're going to be in a high secure area here. Um, that's still waiting for demolishing. I've got quite a lot of things to do at the moment so I can't really complain on them I want them to get this damned place built okay the kitchen's almost built so it needs electricity why is there no electricity right so we need to sort out some electricity cable to these stations here so easy way is if we take up there there and there That should uh, give them some electricity. They might need electricity going through here. So in which case we might as well put some electricity straight through to here as well. So we've got almost like a ring going. Don't think they need any electricity here. That's fine. We've got a couple of blank areas here. One will be a common room. Um, so I might as well sort that one out now while we're going to specify it even if we don't actually do anything with it. Common room. Um, no, 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 garbage, no deliveries, no office. Common room. So that'll be a common room for all the, the uh, prisoners once they're uh, sorted out. And we'll have to find something to put into this area here, cleaning cupboard or some other similar type of uh, functional room for them. 
Right, we've still got a lot of danger. I think primarily due to lack of food. Uh, are the guys using these... They are using the, cell, the showers up here, except there's no wall. Uh, they don't seem to be using them properly. Oh, they are. They're Luckily, they got the grate in in time. So the chefs here can't cook. They are, they have got some food available though, so there is food now available. So that's good. They are they are getting some food up available for those that do want it. But right, we need to make sure what the the security level of this is. Let's just make sure that we've got um, this set as a, a min sec only area. There we go. That way min minimum security prisoners will go in there. Or should be posted to there. So now we just need these guys to keep... Come on boys. Come on boys. Build, build, build. So he, why you can't... Oh, too dangerous. That's not too dangerous. There's no one around there. Don't give us that crap. Oh, uh, okay. Down here might be a bit dangerous. Okay, they're after food. Which is sort of fine. Why is he in the other person's cell? You know? You've already destroyed your own cell. Then you go and go along and try and destroy someone else's cell. That's just not a good idea. So, okay. We need to get this these, um, electricity done here so that we can um, get some food in. It's a pity I can't pulled in um, food from somewhere. That would be of, of great advantage. Right, where are they all going to? Yard. Okay. That's good, good, good. Right, we've got a little bit of time, but yeah, everyone's after food. We do not have enough. Right, I'm going to set one thing we the only thing we can do at the moment in our regime is under food. Where's food? Um, try to remember where food goes to now. Uh, oh, there we go. Right, meal quantity we're going to set high and meal variety high uh, for this moment just to ensure that as much as possible we're going to give them the best possible food even though there's not really too much of it. So let's see what else we need to do. Oh, we have some people, one interested, four finished, two pass. So we have had some people that are willing to work in the kitchens, which is good. So we'll add also this then as a um, prison labor area. So we can put two prisoners in here to work in the kitchen. Cool. Uh, we should have some already down here. We've got two qualified pris prisoners. Cool, that's good. That's, that's uh, uh, of benefit, getting some more people working in these areas. The more the memory, we could always eventually possibly get rid of some of the um, paid for cooks, but we'll see how that works. Yes, we've still got a lot of problems in the jail. Okay, okay, so hit that, that, these gates, are, that top gate's now been done. We can put that back again now. Where's the road gate? Road gate, road gate, road gate, road gate. So we'll put that one back there. I won't put the other one for the moment till it's been removed from this position. Oh, we have some fighting. We have some fighting. Okay, doctors, get out there. Get out there, doctors. Get your sticky sticky and give it to somebody. Give them... You know, 
repair them. We have we have prison guards available. That was obviously in the, some of these guys in the holding cell did not like um, working in that way. So you may be tired. Go back. To, go back to there then. Why doctors complaining all the time? Yes, I know you want food. You didn't have to frigging wait, okay? Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna give them two... an extra possible eating time, I think, at the moment. Uh, so, let's see. They've got eating later. We'll give them a, a 9 a.m. eat as well. Um, just to give them a little extra eating time in the morning, but we've got to get through to 8 p.m. at the moment. Give our guys a chance to at least cook something. They're trying. Well, we haven't got enough meals at this moment because we haven't got enough um oh dear we've just lost power okay that's going to be what we need now first thing we need to do is get another capacitor in there and we need to um put a power switch in somewhere because we've used too much power here um where can we put a power switch uh, Power switch just there. And I guess we'll have to put one in just here for that block. Hmm, okay. We're in a bit of a problem at the moment because everything is um, unpowered until we can get uh, the power up again now what I need to do is let's see if we can switch it on again nope okay need to get that um, capacitor then I've got a couple of capacitors required yes yes I know I know uh, so let's see what we can do as far as utilities. We need to turn some of these utilities off then. Um, hmm. This is a bit problematic. Didn't allow for the power. I thought we'd been thinking. Come on, guys. Deliver that. Deliver it. Now, we might need to hire some extra guards at the moment. Just to... Just to hold off any problems so we're, we basically try to do too much here in one go uh, quite simply even with normal level security uh, basically took too many guards on at once should have done this a little bit at a time but uh, so now the power is our primary there's nothing I can do because as soon as I do that it will kill off again yeah, there's too much power requirement. Where can I undo a power requirement? Um, I need to do a switch somewhere so I can turn some of the power requirements off. So there's nothing I can do about that at this second until they fit a switch. And the capacitors. So it's going to be a certain amount of, hopefully, they will uh, sort themselves out. I don't know what that, that jail door is sitting there on its own for. Let's dismantle that, I think. Yes. Dismantle that. Job in progress. Thank you. Right. We don't need that anymore. That's a box. Okay, that was uh, some of the uh, problematic. We've got a lot of people injured. Right, I think the other thing we then need is more workers. 
And let's just get this done as quickly as possible and then I'll fire the workers afterwards once we've got them uh, working on the various bits and pieces. And hopefully one of the things they're working on is, or they will work on, is going to be this capacitor. Yeah, so that's going to go up there and then it will uh, go dark again. Yep, there we go. Hmm. Don't know if a way up... Well, yeah, I've just, I'm just going to keep at it. It will eventually get sorted. We've got enough people. Oh, 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 we've got some problems. Go on, guys, get in there. Right, all, all spare guys. There's all our spare people. Up in there. Go on, we've got a riot going on. And you, I don't care if you're tired, get up here. And you, up here. Everybody possible, and you, you're going up here as well. Get us those power, I want those transformers in. Those capacitors in as quick as possible. Do it, do it, do it. Right, we also need to get some solitary. Let's, let's start putting our solitaries in. There, and uh, we will need some entrances. Um, let's see, concrete wall, concrete wall. Maybe there and there. So we'll put, a, we'll just put a, a double door in there. So a solitary confinement door is going to go there. There we go. Oh, more, more problems. Yes, we've got a lot of problems here. Yeah, it's going to be bang up. Right, we're going to do a lockdown. Everyone gets in their cells. So we're doing a lockdown just to get everyone back into their uh, areas as quick as possible. Right. I'll open it up again. That just calmed it down a little. Although uh, hopefully some of these injured people will be get taken to the infirmary in due course. We'll see if that works with them properly. Hopefully these, uh, they will get all of these cells sorted. And we can't do anything about the electricity until these bloody capacitors get installed. I bet they'll be the bloody last things that get installed here. Surely they're around here somewhere. Come on, where's a, where's a, where's a capacitor? Anywhere I can put that at a higher priority. That's what I need to to do. I bet it's the bloody last thing they're going to do. No, need to... There it is. That's the ready capacitor that I want in here. I can't seem to... Prioritise. Can't make that higher priority as far as I'm aware. Jobs, any way to make that um, not really. They're working at it, but I need that ready capacitor. Come on, give me that capacitor. Other things are working okay, or getting there at least. We have a problem with the the, the uh, utilities. Oh, have they put that in there? Yeah. Oh, he's putting it in there now. This is going to be good. Right, get it installed. Install. 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 Okay. Now we can turn it on, and we're still a little short. 
Uh, we're, not, we're not short, we're, we still have some issues. At least we now have switches, so we can turn off some areas of the uh, prison as we get larger. So I must remember to do that, so that the power entry point, um, so we check on our utilities, and we have one power entry point for each block from the central area. So what I might do, oh that's, that's okay for the moment, I can manually go and put that on there to turn that one on. Um, when we do the other ones over this side, I'll do the same. I will run this up and down and then they'll have one point that, uh, that gives them their main power. Um, okay, that's cool. Right, so that's better. Uh, how are we doing now? Are we going to have an... Oh, we've got a little bit of... Not enough sink there. Let's just get some water into there. Um, small pipe. Can just go... Oh, no, 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 just that there. Can go there. Anything else lacking? We've just got this heavy pipe here, so let's just push that through into there. See if that does our problem with the the water there and we can now finally sort out these last prison doors so door 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 more jail doors jail door jail door jail door right anywhere not get a jail door so our actual capacity is 32 at this second, Oop, one just there. Right, and what I can now do is tell that to not be in normal mode now. And we're gonna, this one, dismantle. And I'm gonna dismantle all that fence there as well now. Demolish that, there we go. Right, so now we've got to build our solitary here objects uh, so the solitary guys we're going to leave them so they, they'll be able to see the outside that uh, they're no longer able to uh, go go to because we're like going to be like that and we're going to do rooms solitary one two so we're going to have three solitaries excellent now luckily we've got enough um, staff doing the building, which is lucky. Now the other element we need to do is complete off these external fence. At the moment we have the wall and I wanted a double thickness fence at all places around. So if they start digging, we can find. So here we've got here, uh, we've got a little bit of area here we might be able to use for something and then we don't need a fence around the outside so we're gonna start doing a big fence area all the way around the outside we might as well do, might as well do the whole lot while we're doing it now that way if there's any escape attempt in the future at least we know it's going to be limited to just this area now to ensure that the they can get in. What we're going to do is we're going to set up a, a way into that area, a so that they can get in and out, but also so our staff can get in and out to be able to do certain maintenance work, etc., on there. And I think we will put that. Why should we put that from the deliveries? So they have to go out and then then in again. Yep, that sounds like a good as good a place as any. So we'll put a jail door here. So it has to be opened by a, a prison staff member, which is cool that's fine now where's that other little bit i wanted to do to put an extra gap down here in case they try to tunnel this way i want to have the the extra fence just here where's that fence 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 so we have a fence between them and where they might, might want to go and we're going to also extend that all the way around our potential area
and that way now everywhere they would have two fences so we can we're going to basically put dogs through this section here um, on a roving patrol uh, we will have the dogs in this somewhere around this area i think at some point oh we have someone mr we have someone in solitary have you been a bad boy serve one year money laundering mm. and obviously you've done something re uh, relatively um bad at the moment um yes oh you attacked one of our staff just because you're hungry well suck it up boy I don't care if you're hungry found yeah, and you had weapons okay and what was your um and we found drugs on you okay I, I didn't think drugs was a solitary type of level issue but uh obviously it is now okay have we got people in solitary i'm going to change these holding cells now which is the way i wanted them which is one is going to be medium and one is going to be max there we go that's for new prisoners coming in although we haven't got those at the moment and that's the intention of where they are going to be used now how's our food situation at the moment we're still a little short of food by the looks of this here so what we're gonna do we're gonna build an auxiliary canteen or kitchen area which is only the be staff only um, just about here I think which will basically will expand and will cater for any additional food requirements for want of a better word so let's see what should we do we'll have that going l um, foundations nice we have a nice brick building why not let's have a bit of brick and we're gonna have it like there and we're gonna have a staff door on this side there we go and we're gonna materials demolish those because we obviously want these to be a brick wall once these are put this in position come on guys All right have we got that other power in place yet yes we have the other capacitor in place now which is good now we've most probably got more excessive um staff now in some areas we have a capacity of 50 uh, max, maximum safe capacity is 50 and did we get the I think we got the the group B um, grant there's the grants 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 I've lost the grants valuation finance no grants there we go so we got so cell block C will be the next one which will be how many hundred okay so that's a that's a that's a big one so we're still um working on these all right we're gonna go security procedure and we're gonna look at the we won't do that one for the moment uh yeah we, we we'll have, so we're limited to two at the moment we've got three more hidden okay so the only other thing that I need to look at is solitary um, solitary oh, sorry parole parole uh, exactly what is it because we've got 12 prisoners which are due up for parole but we're not actually got any parole happening at this moment um, which is a little annoying oh parole hearing here we go Let's start a parole hearing so 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. we now will have parole hearings okay that's cool now I know where it is I found it um, for whatever reason I couldn't find it before right we will just get this hopefully sorted out and then we we'll get this kitchen built to add our extra uh, capacity and it will be a staff only kitchen this one there we go excellent so we'll just quickly say deployment staff only there we go now we do um, objects we'll get some ovens in there oh no let's just do the room type first 
let's say it is a kitchen there we go so we just need the sink and uh, the other items so in here thank you very much give me some highlighting there we go sink uh, we'll put the sink up um, where's our utilities so we'll put the sink just there uh, we'll put a fridge either side there we go and then we just need a lots of ovens where are we oven 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 cooker on there on there uh, I'll put the other ones down this way cooker mm, what's the most efficient way cooker there cooker 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 there we go that, that, that should be enough that's uh, six cookers in there without them being sort of sillyly placed so that should help somewhat um, be convenient and help with any missing um, uh, not missing but uh, help with the extra food requirements hopefully uh, we will have some people working in these ones how's our food now So we just need to assign three guys to patro patrols and we can get this one. So let's quickly do that and then we'll call a call a thing. So patrols. So basically guard patrols is where you can say a person does a particular uh, walking duty. So let's say we've got someone in here that does a patrol up there. It basically patrols all the cells. Makes as a look in everybody's cell just to make sure that everyone is working as they should and we can assign people to it by clicking on it or take it off click on it and that adds the thing so that's one guard and then we would obviously need a guard here as well just doing the same so here's the guard patrol and that one and then finally we'll have a, a general security guard who comes in here goes into up and down the yard up the yard and pops into this one as well just to say hello everything okay yes right okay then and we assign someone to that one so that we've got those that one as well excellent so we have a capacity of 50 so that's been done we found out where the parole really is we have our fence being worked on and once that's done I can extend this little bit of fence and remove those ones just to to clean that up a little bit um, make it a little bit e more even next time what will we be looking at we're going to be looking at um, let's see we need to what's going to be on our, our, our plan for next time we'll look at what is needed Hygiene, uh, exercise, uh, there's a lot of things thereafter, but uh, that's not a problem. Grants, okay, so we're going to have the, possibly look at the, um, let's have a look, education reform. Um, yeah, that might be a good um, next level. Um, and also, yes, and also the governmental security ratings dog right so um, armed guards and dog handlers so we're going to look at those uh, particular ones so yeah we'll we'll have a look at governmental security ratings Oops, let's take that one out we'll look at education reform and then we'll look at government security ratings so we'll have a look at those two next time the first one we'll look at will be the security ratings yeah so i'll, I'll put that one in there, in there now um just making a, a note of it we'll also start with the working on our original cell block down here cell block a and give it a nice little bit of a work over um, we've got no one still in this particular jail no one's obviously qualified for that level um, but we'll have a look at some of the room qualities um, so up some of them um, this person here is a 
grade it's a grade three a grade three the person in it is got due grade nine so why has he not been moved into there i uh, don't know anyway um some of these ones we might move some of these up but i'm going to keep that as a, a grade one type area for the moment uh keeps our average down we'll get some of these ones here up to grade three grades we'll make these a grade fours and obviously you've got the nine here which is another thing but we'll try to maybe we'll move some of these other ones up to a grade five and six and get somewhere up to a nine so we've got a nine and eight a seven a six somewhere in that see what we need to do to just reduce them down a little bit so that's a grade seven a, a grade six a five etc like that and just um see what we've got now we've actually got someone in here is entitled to a grade nine so we could even push this one up to a nine let's see what we can do on those next time um so one is he subject to a great grade nine and we've just lost all power again oh dear um car theft oh, he's, he's, for some reason okay so we're gonna switch that on but i'm gonna switch that off for the moment so they're off have we, why have we got not enough power? Let's turn that on. Yeah. Okay, we need another. I'm going to get that ready to be built. We need another capacitor. We're getting through a lot of lot of power here. So they're without power until this area gets done. Okay, and I've just noticed one other thing that needs to be done, really small one. There we go. And then that canteen will be operational, uh, hopefully. So, oh, he's just fixing that by the looks of it. I'm going to put another capacitor in now as well while I'm thinking about it. Okay, our power situation has been resolved. They can have power back in there. There you go happy happy people again okay that should be it for now i could keep on playing this for ages there's lots of little things that need to be done always on this um and you have to just sort of like find yourself at a point where you can go right enough's enough um ooh, i need to get rid of some of these staff now uh we have more than enough of those uh, fire We'll go down to, I think six will be enough for the moment, just to um, uh, cut down a little bit on the costs. So, as I say, <laughs> I can keep on doing this for ages. Um, hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if there's other things I should be looking at other than the security next time, and also um, working on the uh, classrooms, which we'll possibly put in the center area, and move the storage somewhere else. Um, so say any comments please let me know please let me know in as well if you're enjoying this or not but until next time have fun <laughs>